on these three <laughs> Hello everyone, Lorenzo here from RVT. Uh, on this video, I'm going to go, go ahead and give you an update on who's going to be the builder that's going to be building my house. And I'm going to give you an update on the electrical. Um, and that's it. So, as you know, as I'm showing you around, I'm going to explain everything to you. So, let me flip this camera real quick. Alright, so this is, there's my son over there mowing. Uh -huh. but this is the uh, where the house is gonna be so the house that we you know the house that we're gonna be building here is actually gonna be a modular home uh, we actually went to uh, Tyler Texas to Pratt homes so they can uh, build a house for us they had like multiple companies that they use and the company that is gonna be building our house is, is Champion Homes or Champion I think yeah Champion Homes I think it is but uh but yeah this uh we kinda like picked the plan and then kinda like the bathroom uh we did some something different than the uh how it was pictured because they didn't have the model there they do have a model there now is uh, the model that we're looking at is Daisy May or out of Santi May. <laughs> There's so many Mays out there. But uh, that's the uh, company, that's the house, the plans that we're looking at. And whenever they deliver the house here, hopefully I'll be able to take off from work and be here while they deliver the house so I can capture everything on video so you can see how they're gonna set it up and everything. Um, but yeah. That's, that's what's going on now. And then here on my electrical. I've been so busy. I mean, I, st I have a bunch of tools on the back of my truck. I might have to go to my, my storage unit and drop this off. Because I've been, I've, right after I finished doing this electrical, I went to, over to, uh, I started building a kennel for uh, one, of my, one of my co-workers, he wanted for me to build a kennel, kennel for him. I'm like, I try, you know, telling him, hey, you know, just go ahead and, and uh, contact these people, you know, and I gave him some phone numbers, but he want, I don't know why he wanted for me to do, do it for him. So I did it. It was a 10 by 10, and I wish I would have gotten it on, you know, recorded it, but I was trying to make it so fast that it still took me two months, but still. But anyways, uh, back to this. I have some electricity. Um, the only thing that I did uh, come back and, ha and did before the inspection was that I installed a uh, ground fault uh, GSCI for my uh, RV. And then I did put some labels here. This one is going to be for the workshop. And that's going to be for the house. Oh, it's out of focus. Got it a new app here so there you go that's for the house and that's for the uh, workshop that's the 30 amp um, RV outlet and the uh, 30 amp um, regular outlet so um, this is the uh, the GFCI 30 amp Right now it's off, but this is at um, the uh, right here, the RV, uh, you know, plug, and this is the outlet. But that's the only thing I did, you know. It's pretty simple on this, you know. You just put the neutral going into the bottom, and then there's a wire that goes into the ground, and then the positive goes into that same uh, circuit breaker so that was the only thing I did different I mean since I didn't I did the video but I took I took care of that just in case if you know there's any problems with that but, you know the uh, the inspector told me that I did a, a pretty good job so I didn't have to come back and I didn't have to come back and do anything else so which is, that was a good thing 
anyways yeah we're 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 already close on these uh on the property sorry about that this is a new cam a uh, new app that, that i'm using so you had to do everything manually, manually like a professional <laughs> like the professional i am so <laughs> But anyways, my son, oh, he's getting wrapped up doing the last piece of the, uh, to mow the grass. So, if I can get it there. There. But, um, but yeah, I'm, I'm pretty, we're pretty excited, you know, hopefully the beginning of June, um, we're in April right now, and, uh, but yeah, I can't wait. I'm just, I just can't wait. I'm gonna go ahead and show you where the, uh, the water wall is. The water wall is gonna be right here. Where the white flag is and two pink flags. So that's gonna be our, um, the, uh, the water well is going to be right there and then over there where the post is that's what i want to put the, the workshop that's going to be supposed to be the corner of the workshop uh, i'm gonna have to hire somebody to brush hug all of that stuff on the back i wish my i wish i had an attachment for my tractor it'll save me a bunch of money on that but those things are pretty expensive so oh yeah i'm gonna put the workshop right there and over there way i don't know if you can see it right there i put like a little pink ribbon that's where where the sep the uh, septic tank is gonna be and the house is gonna be over here from from this angle but the septic tank is supposed to be 100 feet away from the water well so i did have to get my uh my roller and then I measure from there to to uh, where the uh, where the septic tank is supposed to be, and the the water well is supposed to be I must say over 75 if I remember correctly away from the fence line. So I had to do measure it from the fence line this way and from the other side this way. But it's over. It's over the um, the amount. It's like eighty something right now. And but yeah, that's where the septic tank is gonna be. Walk over here. So that's where the uh, the uh, safety tank is supposed to start, and it's supposed to go this way. And somewhere, somewhere over here is gonna be the distribution area for the for the uh, for the water, you know, to soak into the ground. And then, uh, of course, you know, I have a, a gas pipeline going. Through there, you can see the. Uh, you can barely see it over there, the uh, yellow pole, and it goes out to that corner over there, way over there. So you have to stay feet to feet away from that. But uh, yeah, that's where the. Uh, uh, what you call it? Yeah, I'm so so tired too. Man. I've been working all weekend. Uh, that's where the septic tank is gonna be, and this is the corner of the house, right here. So uh, the pole is kind of leaning right now because I hit it with the tractor earlier. With that. house 
so our front the front of the house is gonna be facing like right now we've like if we look we're looking at that way right there right there and that's the first corner and that's the other corner and right now we're facing the front of the house our backyard is gonna be so we said we put it like this so we can first one for th two things on the back you know the sun sets on the, on the back over there and we got these nice trees over here so they can block the heat of the you know it can block the heat of the uh, the house the heat of the sun I mean <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because the house, the house gets so hot, you know. <laughs> but no, uh, you got, he's got to block the, uh, the heat from the sun, and, and uh, this is going to be the, the back of it. So later on in the afternoon, it might also get darker, I mean, uh, evening. Um, the, the, the shade here is going to reach over that way. And uh, it's gonna be blocking the back of the house, and of course we gotta have the view of the entire property. Well, most of it, because we have a tree line over there, you cannot see the other side of the property. <laughs> but yeah, that's that's what's gonna be. I think my son just got done, so I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this video up. Now, if you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. I, like 99 point something I forgot the I'm gonna put it right there on the screen uh, watches our video my videos and doesn't subscribe for some reason and uh, they just watch the videos and that's it <laughs> but you know it it doesn't matter to me I mean I'm still gonna be making my videos whether people like it or not I have some thumbs down on some like some of my videos but what you gotta do <laughs> But I wish I can post on the bottom, you know, why they leave a bad comment, I mean, a uh, thumbs down, so I can actually try to improve, improve what I need to improve, I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, uh, make sure you like and subscribe, and 